G'day everyone, Rascal here, and welcome to the first of my, um, <coughs> edited FIA race highlight videos. Now, I've got a couple from last season, but this upcoming season, season three, I'm going to be trying to stay on top of things, so you'll see a lot more videos coming out soon. Now, the live stream of this particular race is still up on my channel, and for those of you that saw it, you would know that I was very, very nervous, as I was basically up against a bunch of drivers who are ranked a lot higher than I was, and I was just hoping against hope I could maybe get a top five finish. So that's the background for this particular little race, you know, the little story background. Now let's get to my trying to do some commentary for my first ever time. So please go easy on me. And as I usually say in my uh, live streams, please excuse my list. It's just the way it is. So here's go. Here we go. There's me. What a pretty car. GT Omega. Um, they supplied the rig that I use. I did pay for it, but having said that, they lost a lot of money giving it to me just so they could get it to me on time on the delivery date from the UK to Australia. So they're a great company, highly recommend them. John 27, a race against him or race against him in league, so it's stopped league racing for the moment. He's a very fast driver, so just being in his split was blowing my mind. Nitro, how you going mate? He's still on a race against a lot, but most of these guys I haven't. Let's see who else is there. Mr. Natty Gaines have raced against a few times. So, Sir McKnight. Yeah, I think I have. Piper. Definitely raced against him. Uh, again, in league, when I did a little bit of wheel-to-wheel -wheel league racing. Who else have we got? No, I don't know this guy. Hope you don't mind the music in the background, it's by Nepex. Check out his channel, it'll be in the description. It's all copyright free, great artist. He's happy for people to use it. And Bandy Doot, see the D, Doot Lover. I've also raced against him in uh, League and he gets quite offended if you say Bandicoot. So it's Bandy Doot, don't forget it. So here we go, start of the race, and straight away I'm thinking, wait a second, it's the bum Craig in front of us. Now, if you know you're Irish, Craig is kind of like joke or have a laugh. So it's literally kind of like Mr. Bum Punny, Mr. Bum Joke. Weird name. But using a Porsche, and I'm thinking, I'm in a Lamborghini, I got this guy. And as you can see, I do have him. So that's nice. As you can see, I had a decent qualifying session. I came second overall. He managed to get first by being my toe, and as you just see in my rearview mirror and in the replay, he actually lost it on that corner for blade. So now I'm just sitting here, still very, very nervous. Just thinking, okay, I've just got to look after myself, look after my tires, push, but not too hard and just, yeah, try and find my rhythm. Now you'll see my tyres, I'm using, where everyone else is just using sauce, I'm using medium on the fronts and sauce on the rear. You can't do that anymore, but back then you could. And that's because the Lambo, being an all-wheel drive, um, any other experienced drivers out there or people who drive all-wheel drive cars know that when it comes to front tyre wear, they're almost as bad as front wheel drives. Not quite as bad, but not far off. So I often do go to the mediums just to, uh, yeah, keep my tyres under control. But knowing at the same time, I'm in with a bunch of guys that are running softs and who really should be a good deal faster than me. Um, to give you an idea, my DR at this time was about 41k, just under, 
and John, who was number one, he was sitting just under 50. So that's the skill level we're talking about here. And I was the second lowest. So we're going through here. And I'm reasonably happy with things go how things are going, but I am noticing that PRT codes, who well, I've since raced against a few times now, is catching up with me. And it's not surprising because he's a reasonably fast driver. Now, at the time, as you can see, I raced bumper cam. I don't like good cam. I rely on my rear view mirror if I want to look behind me. Um, I prefer having the hood cam because it just feels more natural. I'm with David Carell on that. Um, again, you'll see him in my description as well as on my library as he coaches me. Or more like I pay a considerable sum of money to get him to coach me. <laughs> um, I was actually his first sim racing student and I've been doing it for nearly a year now. And he's helped me get from a sub 20k driver to where I am now. Now, I didn't realise this at the time, but uh, he had a penalty, as you can see in the uh, replay in the top right hand corner there. Because it doesn't show that in the review mirror. But I see him coming up behind me, and I'm like, alright, he's in my slipstream, especially with how it's, what is it, 1.5 seconds at the moment. He's going to have me. So, I'm not going to fight the position. I'm thinking, this guy's got more speed, I'd rather sit behind him rather than fight him for a position. And that's what I do, as we're about to see. I let him pass quite comfortably. Get out of his way, break early. Heaps of room. And then I see, what? He's got a penalty. Okay. Oh, I guess we're going to go around. I'm going to overtake him again if I don't mess up. And just we're going to have a repeat next lap. So let's see if that's what happens. Now, I noticed compared to most other people, I was pretty good around this particular corner. I don't know if that was just uh, being in the Lambo or me. Oops, sorry about that noise. But, um, yeah. So he's about to serve his penalty. I'm like, okay, keep it calm to Ascari here. Which I do. And as predicted, I get past him. Now everyone thinks a Lambo is this monster car in a straight line. That's both true and false. In terms of top speed, it's a monster. But in acceleration, it's a very average car. The Mercedes definitely has, has the Lambo on acceleration, pretty much all the way up until about 250 kilometers per hour. And if they're in your slipstream, even more. Now, this time I'm thinking, all right, he's definitely gonna go again. I'm gonna go a little bit defensive. Not overly so, just, just enough to let him know that I'm going to defend the position if he goes for it, but he doesn't make any move to, so I pretty much get back online and just continue on with the job. Now it gives me a little love tap there, but here I use this corner, as you can see I break early. Now he hits me quite hard there and loses control. Because I'm just concentrating on my exit speed. And unfortunately he gets a penalty for it. I don't think he deserves a penalty personally. It was a decent nudge, but as you can see it didn't knock me off the road or anything like that. So I think that's just Gran Turismo being Gran Turismo. But again, at the time, I don't know this. I noticed he made a mistake, I thought, okay, he's just wigged out a bit on the corner, but he's still in my toes, so I'm concentrating, but then all of a sudden, he drops off, drastically. 
he had a penalty, I didn't know it. Next thing you know, I've got a three second gap. And I know I've got enough pace, even against PRT codes, to pretty much just run my own race. Which is what I do until I decide to pit. So now we'll switch to uh, my in-lap. Eventually. Here we go. Now I decided to pit a bit earlier. I decided to do the undercut. Um, and you can, you can see my rear left was really going. I struggled coming out of Scarry just before, so I decided to pit. Knowing it was a gamble, but pretty sure I can make these medium tyres last. And it also means, as you do when I undercut, I don't have to spend as much time in the pits topping up with fuel. So we'll see where we come out. And I think I come out in 6th. Oh, 7th. No, 7th, yeah. Just behind the Aston. Well, not just behind, but... Now, I'm not too worried here. Even though I do notice that I've got John behind me, who, as I've experienced, is usually quite faster than me. We've also got a possessed bandy dude up ahead. As you can see, he's got some connection problem of some kind. His car's going all over the place. And that actually works into my favour later on in the race. But at the moment I'm worrying about John and GTP Legend behind me because John I've raced personally and GTP I saw was number third, was ranked third in the lobby so I figured he's got some pace. I was really expecting John just to creep up on me and go blowing past me but he didn't. Now as you can see Bandy Duke going all over the place, distracts a few people. I just managed to not hit the Aston there. Mr. Natty Gaines gets himself... Oh no, it's ben, Bandidoot Lover or Natty Gaines. One of the two gets himself a penalty. Now, next thing you know, I'm pulling away from John. I'm like, what the hell? Realising he hasn't pit yet. So he decides to stay out. PRT codes is bitted. But now I've got GTP legend behind me. And again, he's in my slick stream. But he doesn't go for the move. He gives me a nudge. So I have to bleed off a little bit of speed, as I wasn't quite expecting that. But I'm like, fair enough, that's how you want to play it. He obviously wants to use my slipstream. Now, I should have realised at the time that I didn't. He's in a front wheel drive car. He pretty much has to do it till he's stopping this race, unfortunately. Doesn't matter how fast he is. So, but I wasn't thinking of that at the time. All I'm thinking of is, you know, just keep your head, stay calm, Consolidate your position as best you can. Now I know everyone ahead of me still has to pit. I've made my pit stop. And I even know the two people directly behind me have to pit as well. So I was pretty sure GTP Legend hadn't pit. Um, thinking he was only on a one stop. In fact, he had already pit. This is going to be his second pit stop whenever he does fit. So we come around here, and Bandy Doot, get the Doot right, well, I decides to stay out. Now, how often do you see this? Everyone knows that this is a quick car in a straight line, but when I've got a tow in this Lambo, as you can see, even the Nissan, bye-bye. I think the Lambo has, it's got real, really good top speed. You comfortably get close to 280 in this, which is pretty good for a group 4 car. So I'm 
sitting there, and thankfully for me, Bandit and Bubba is holding up GTP Legend. And now I'm thinking, oh crap, he's already dead. Again, not not thinking that he has to do a two-stop. I'm thinking, oh no, I've got to get away from this bloke. I've got to break this toe, I've got to break this toe. And so that's what's going on in my mind right now. Just trying to stay calm, drive within my limits, I'll still keep up some speed. My tyres are still in pretty good condition, so I managed to take a scarrow pretty well. I still got GTP behind me, but I haven't quite broken that toe, so I'm still still nervous at this point. I'm seeing if I can lose him around this corner like I did John before. But no, it doesn't seem like I can. So I'm just a little bit worried at this point, thinking, okay. But then, oh no, he's still behind me. So I was still crapping myself at this point. I remember it pretty clearly. I was very, very nervous. I was. I remember having to apologise to the people watching the live stream for not talking because I was just concentrating so much on not royally effing this up. So, but even now, I'm managing to keep my distance, if not break the toe. So, I'm reasonably confident at this stage. But, you know, if I haven't got first, at least I should have second. But I'll take that corner pretty well. Bang. Toe broken. I'm like, thank you. Now's the time to make a break for us. So I actually do try to push it as much as I safely can. Knowing that I've got to make these medium tyres last a couple of laps longer than everyone else. So I've got a two second lead. Feeling reasonably comfortable, seeing I'm gaining on these guys. But then I get a little surprise. So we go around this corner. And you'll see what the surprise is in a minute. A new bandit had to pit. The GTPs as well. And it's PRT codes again behind me, but he's nine seconds behind me. I honestly could not believe it at this point. I was like, what the hell? Like, this is what I was thinking in my head anyway. As you can see on the screen, I wasn't giving anything away. So I just took it easy. Like very easy. Last couple of laps, I didn't care that I dropped a second lap or so. As you can see, it's dropped down to seven seconds, but that's still a very healthy lead. And as you see, when I finish, I am very, very happy. Most points I'd ever won, 211 points. So, for some of you out there, that might not be much. For me, very big deal. Is the most points I've gotten yet in my career. So yeah, that was round six of season two. So please give me a feedback on what you think of this little edited video, if you don't mind the music. Um, again, sorry about the list, just the way it is. I thought I'd keep the little victory thing in there because I don't get too many of them. I think this was my 25th win maybe. I haven't had that many wins. Yes, 25 wins. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, I'll catch you all later. Be good to each other. Goodbye.